So this is a monumental time for the Vanker family. Our oldest son, Ty, is just getting ready to head off to Wheaton College. He's going on a backpacking trip for a couple weeks before then, and so he's getting ready to leave a moment we've been looking for for his whole life. And we just had a moment that we've looked for for Hudson's whole life. It uh, just happened last night. We dropped him off uh, for our summer camp. We have this program for high school students called Crew, where they, they're, they're serving on these different teams. Uh, he's going to be there for a couple of weeks, Hudson and, and Rustin. And Hudson's whole life, we've prayed that God would help him to be free, that he would not need anything or anybody, not, uh, not braces, not a walker, uh, not different plugs and cords and things, uh, the, the braces and walker for the cerebral palsy, all, all the other stuff related to the kidney things. His whole life, we've prayed that God would help him to be free. And people would actually laugh at us, uh, sometimes in the medical profession, because they, they just thought he's so far from that. We said, look, you know, we, we, everything is a stepping stone for, for him to be free. We don't just want him to be able to sit up on his own. You've seen him. He can run around, do all these kinds of things. Well, last night, we dropped him off at the camp, and there he was, throwing on his swimsuits, going down to the beach, going swimming with all these other high school students, spending the night there. And Christy and I, it's so emotional, I couldn't get anybody else from our family uh, as a part of this one something we've prayed for his whole life. Uh, because being free is actually part of living. We've talked about this. I mean, I really feel that it is a, a, an essential part of, of life. Christy and I actually were watching this video uh, documentary. Uh, there's this one dog in a, in a cage for six years. And what was in that dog's eyes compared to what happened after it was let out and, and allowed to live and, and, and breathe and function freely uh, as it, he was designed to be. And then you, you look at this dog afterwards, you don't even recognize him. So much more life. We were designed to be free. In fact, in Galatians, it says that Jesus set us free for freedom's sake. God is completely free. It, and he's also the source of, of our life. We're told in Galatians 3, and the church in, in, in Galatia, they were really struggling. They kept they, they had the, the original gospel, which set them free uh, by faith in Jesus alone, that he did everything for them, that they didn't have to follow the works of the law to be free. And they, they were kept going back to the, to the law. And Paul said, look, uh, you know, you're being imprisoned again. He said the law, it wasn't bad. It was good, but it didn't bring life. They said it actually brought death. And in chapter 3, he says that the law, it functioned like a guardian uh, until the time that, that we'd be set free by faith. Well, that's a really nice word. You know, I tend to think of Nana in Peter Pan, which was kind of like the guard dog for the children, really benevolent, really kind. But a guard that keeps you in prison is not really benevolent. Again, it's not bad, but it wasn't good. And it's not life-giving. What does give life is the freedom that we find by faith in Jesus Christ, that Jesus fulfilled the law completely, that there's nothing that we owe, not to him, not to the Father, not to anybody else. You're free. Any, any chain, any baggage of, of, of a debt that, that had to be paid is gone. It was paid in full. And I want to encourage you with this, that the Christian life was one that was designed to be free. You should have seen the look on Hudson's face. Uh, and and I'm, I'm, we were hearing Rustin as he was calling us later that night and the boys were, were up having a great time. I can't wait to see him. Our bodies were meant to help us be free. Some of us, our bodies are a prison and they keep us from doing what we want to do. But others of us, our bodies were meant to help us to, to be free and to live. And your spirit is designed to be free. And I want to encourage you with this. If there is something that is keeping you chained, if there are rules or regulations or practices that you feel this burden on top of you, oh, I haven't done this, oh, I need to do that, oh, I, I, and you have this, this, this set of laws in your life, just know that that is not part of the gospel. The gospel lets you be free. And when you are a son or a daughter, a child of the king, free from the law, you are free indeed. And I hope that that gives you a sense of, of life today. Be free. Live as God intended for you to do. Follow him. You're free to love him and you're free to enjoy life. Be blessed today.